In this video, we'll explore the process of crafting a software architecture. At the end of this video, I'll share some bonus content to help you with your journey. My name is Madhur, let's get started. Imagine you are the one designing the solution. What steps will you take? Let's go through these one by one. To kick off the process, you understand the system requirements. You analyze the business need behind the requirements by leading the discussions with stakeholders to unearth the core objective. During this phase, you also document opportunities and limitations. As an architect, you recognize the importance of non-functional requirements in shaping the architecture's performance, resilience, and scalability. Based on your past experiences, you know that it's always better to set clear expectations right from the beginning rather than having to deal with the hated discussions later on. That's why you take the initiative to discuss and agree on essential metrics such as performance, uptime, etc. Armed with insights from previous discussions, you lead mapping sessions to chart the course ahead and guide your team in defining the system's components. At this stage, the components are just boxes linked together without the mention of any technology. This involves depicting boxes for databases, applications, queues, etc. In the ever-evolving landscape of cloud technology, choices are unlimited. With a sense of empowerment and authority, you navigate this vast landscape, evaluating the latest technologies and selecting the stack that best aligns with the project's objectives. This is the stage where your knowledge and experience of cloud services shine. In this phase, you specify technologies and services against component boxes like MySQL for database, PHP for front-end applications, and Kafka for implementing queues. With the building blocks in place, you synthesize insights from previous steps to craft a robust and scalable solution. This involves adding details around integration and interactions between components. The design meets both the functional and non-functional requirements. Documentation is the cornerstone of effective communication in the world of architecture. You meticulously craft an architecture document that serves as a guiding reference for the development team, ensuring clarity and cohesion as they bring the architecture to life in the cloud. This document will be referred by the stakeholders ranging from management to the developers, so you make sure it caters to all. This is the stage where you share the architecture plan with the stakeholders and gather their feedback. You present the architecture design to the architecture review board, gather insights, incorporate them into the design, and finally obtain the necessary approvals. As the development unfolds, your role as a cloud architect extends beyond the drawing board. With unwavering support and a spirit of collaboration, you empower the development team to overcome obstacles and achieve their full potential, driving the project towards success in the cloud. In this phase, you even change the architecture design as you encounter implementation challenges. As you reach the conclusion of your journey, you realize that architecture is not a destination, but a continuous process for growth and innovation. So you embrace the challenges, seize the opportunities, and never stop striving for excellence in the ever-evolving landscape of the cloud solutions. The description of the video includes a link to a downloadable version of the roadmap with some important tips for each of the eight steps. Please feel free to download or print it. If you found this video insightful, please support me by hitting the like and subscribe button. Until next time, stay curious, stay data-driven.